As he who issued summons, I convene this, the fourth Brethren Court. <laughs> to confirm your lordship and right to be heard, present now your pieces of eight, my fellow captains. Those aren't pieces of eight. They're just pieces of junk. Aye, the original plan was to use nine pieces of eight to bind Calypso, but when the first court met, the brethren were to a one. Skint broke. So change the name. What? To nine pieces of whatever we happened to have in our pockets at the time. Oh yes, that sounds very piratey. The Master Regatti, if you will. I kept it safe for you, just like you said when you gave it to me. I have now I need it back. Spyro! Might I point out that we are still short one pirate lord, and I'm as content as a cucumber to wait until Sao Feng joins us. Sao Feng is dead. He fell to the Flying Dutchman. The plague ship! Made you, Captain? Just give him the bloody title away. Listen, listen to me. Our location has been betrayed. Jones is under the command of Lord Beckett. They're on their way here. Who is this betrayer? Not likely anyone among us. Where's Will? Not among us. And it matters not how they found us. The question is, what will we do now that they have? We fight. <laughs> <laughs> Shipwreck Cove is a fortress. A well-supplied fortress. There is no need to fight if they cannot get to us. There be a third course. In another age, at this very spot, the first Brethren Court captured the Sea Goddess and bound her in her bones. That was a mistake. Oh, we tamed the seas for ourselves, I. But open the door to Beckett and his ilk. Better were the days when mastery of seas came not from bargains struck with eldritch creatures, from the sweat of a man's brow and the strength of his back alone. You all know this to be true. Gentlemen, ladies, we must free Calypso. Shoot him and cut out his tongue, then shoot his tongue. And trim that scraggly beard. So Fang would have agreed with Barbosa. Aye, 